Good morning and welcome to the Seminole Nation radio program. This is your host Edwin Marshall. Hey, we're back with you on this beautiful early June day outside. It's a little bit cloudy and overcast, but I'll tell you this weather beats all that bad weather we had in May. So far in June, we've had some pretty decent weather. Uh, I'll tell you what, we got a lot of announcements for you. We got a couple of special guests in the studio, and uh, we're going to get started on those just in a moment. But moment, okay, how you I got to know my she Maloney, the moment I go peace, easy, and I go, I got to know my she won't peace, easy, and no more, come on, and eat a nose. Moment, how you eat a peace, easy, you know, she's not getting a she and as a ski diet, she won't peace, easy, and not moment, she and as a biscuit diet, and suck a mud. But I suck a diet, she won't peace, easy, and eat a nose. And uh, I want to. First of all, I want to introduce our guests in the studio today. We'll be talking to them just in a few minutes. Uh, first of all, we have Michelle Ramirez. She's the Youth JOM Coordinator with the Citizen Potawatomi Nation. Uh, and also, along with her, we have Kim Coe. She's a Youth Counselor with the Citizen Potawatomi Nation JOM program, I assume. And uh, don't let the name fool you. Michelle here, Ramirez, is not Hispanic. Actually, uh, she's, I think, one of our own tribal members here at Seminole Nation. She works for the uh, Citizen Potawatomi. She's uh, uh, Uncle Bill Hobai's niece, and Margaret and Bill's uh, niece, actually, and from over around the uh, Gar Creek uh, area, a uh, Snake Creek Church area. Uh, and so we're going to be talking to her in a little bit. It's good to have you all. Thank you. Thank you. So before we really get started... Uh, I just want to make sure that you all pay close attention, especially for the local listeners, because we're talking about some opportunities that they're going to be talking about with the uh, tribal youth. Uh, so uh, make sure you listen to that. Oops. First of all, let's get started on our church announcements uh, this coming week. Uh, these are the churches that will be having church meetings. Uh, Butler Creek, uh, Cedar Creek, Eufaula. Grave Creek, Greenleaf, that's over near Okima, Hitchiti, New Yorka, Randall Mission, Sand Creek Baptist Church, Sand Springs Baptist Church, that's way up there in Cherokee country, I hope they're out of the flood water, uh, Tallahassee, Thiwali, Tukpafka, Tukabuchi, Tuskegee, and Wewoka Indian Baptist. We woke in in Baptist is a little bit uh, just outside of town there, and we woke our good buddy, uh, uh, Reverend Curtis Kinney, is a pastor there. Those are the churches that will be meeting this Sunday. Now, your church may meet every Sunday, but you may want to go somewhere and visit in the afternoon. Those are the churches that will be having either fourth or eighth Sunday. So uh, make sure you go by, and if you uh, want to go visit, uh, those are the churches that will be meeting. All right, the menu is out for the Older Americans program uh, for this month. Uh, today is the fourth. There will be meatloaf, mashed potatoes and gravy, peas, carrots, hot rolls, and jello. I'm going over there as soon as I get through this radio program. And then tomorrow, goulash. Oh, man, they're keeping it up. Okra, bread, salad, and mandarin oranges. And then on Thursday, chicken and dumplings, broccoli fruit salad and then on friday of course every friday they have breakfast from eight to nine this week they're going to have pancakes and sausage scrambled eggs cereal and milk man i'll tell you what you can't beat that and then next monday uh reuben hot dogs salad baked beans and cookies so if you're uh, i believe the age is 55 and over uh, native you don't even have to be seminal as long as you're native uh, you're welcome to come on over there. That's in the Senior Citizen Building there in Wewoka. All right. Lyheap cooling season begins June the 10th. Uh, and uh, I'll tell you what, this is a program that's very, very helpful for uh, elders, tribal elders, and uh, people in low income uh, you must be a member of a federally recognized tribe, reside in the service area of Seminole County, household income not to exceed the greater of 100%, 50% of the federal poverty level, uh, original tribal enrollment and CDIB verification, 
a security card verification, proof of income for everybody that's 18 or older, and your most recent original electric bill. They'll help you with your cooling costs, Your, uh, in other words, electricity, uh, for the summer, and that's a big, helpful program. All right, Seminole Nation Head Start's now accepting applications. Uh, the free Head Start and Early Head Start services for income-eligible tribal and non-tribal children ages six weeks to five years of age. Uh, there's a lot of services available to those children as well as their families, so if you want more information, uh, I'm going to give you one number, and uh, you can call that. That's the Barking Water Center at 405 405- Two five seven seven two two zero, and they will uh, give you all the information you need on that. Hey, it's summertime. School's out, and we got a lot of uh, camps coming up. Or that, and matter of fact, we've already started. We already had the football camp, but uh, on uh, softball camp, uh, June the fifth. Let me uh, softball camp on June the fifth. Uh, the coach is going to be uh, Alexander Flores. He's the assistant softball coach at Seminole State College. Uh, the fee is $20, and uh, that's going to be held at the Miccosukee Mission Softball Complex. So if you're interested in that, you can go out for that. Uh, and also, the Seminole Nation Basketball Camp is coming up on June the 7th. Um, that's going to be... Uh, instructor will be Chris Jones. He's the head boys basketball co- coach at Justice Public Schools. Um, check-ins at 8.30. And uh, you can call Victor Bear at 405-683-0071 uh, if you want more information on that. They're only taking 25 girls. Okay. Here's the boys basketball camp. That's going to be held on June 21st. And uh, also the coach is going to be Chris Jones. He's with Justice Public Schools. And that's going to be on June the 21st. And this is for boys. Uh, so they're only taking 25. Uh, so come on out and uh, or contact Victor Bear, rather, at 405-683-0071. That's for grades 3 through 8. Also, Seminole Nation... Well, I guess that's a, I've already, Seminole Nation basketball camp for little guys, that's what it is, for first and second grade, they're only taking 15 kids, that's going to be on June the 10th and 11th, you can contact Victor Bear once again at 405-683-0071, and then uh, those are the camps that will be coming up at the mission. All right, the Seminole Nation Historic Preservation Office is doing a summer field school beginning in July. Uh, this is uh, must be high school junior or older to qualify. Uh, you can contact Joy Moldenauer at 405-234-5218. This is the one I've been really excited about because it's going to be uh, July 8th to 11th. It's going to be parceled out at different dates. Uh, they're going to do four days of classroom instruction. Then on July 21st through 26th, they're going to take the group to Tallahassee, Florida. They're going to take them to the homelands. And uh, then back on August 5th and 6th at the Miccosukee Mission, you must sign up by completing an application. You can contact Joy at 405-234-5218. So if you're a high school junior or your child is a high school junior, and you'd like for them to have an opportunity to go to this very, very informative camp uh, for about Seminole history and culture, uh, contact Joy. I think that's a great opportunity for some, some of the kids. 2019 Summer Youth Diabetes Prevention Camp. Um, that's uh, kids must be between the age of 10 and 15, uh, be a Native American of any tribe, and complete a one-page essay in order to be considered for this prevention camp. It's going to be held on June the 25th through the 28th. Uh, let's see. This is, going to be, this is the one that's going to be held at East Central. Uh, 
And so your child will go and stay at the camp for all those days and receive all the instruction and have a lot of fun over there, by the way. They're going to be doing a lot of things. It's not listed on here, but they're going to be taking them out, doing a lot of activities. So uh, if your child is between the age of 10 and 15 and you're interested in this, contact them at 405-234-5274. That's the Seminole Nation Diabetes Program. There's also going to be another camp. On June the 10th through the 14th at Camp Takatoka. That's Native Youth Preventing Diabetes Camp. And these, this is for the younger kids. Uh, you can also contact them at the same number. Uh, I believe uh, 405-234-5274 at the Summer Youth Diabetes Prevention Camp. All right. Summer meals for kids, free lunches for children and teenagers, school-age kids, 1 through 18. This is going to start June the 4th and until August the 3rd. It's the Seminole Nation Food and Nutrition Services there uh, at 12577 uh, NS 3540, Seminole, Oklahoma. I believe that's at the Mission Um Seminole Nation Food and Nutrition Services. And actually, the meals are being provided by the Chickasaw Nation Summer Food Program. For more information, you can call 405-234-5240. You can go out there every day and have uh, lunches for kids 1 through 18 years old. All right. The Hobuidagi Yikchagat Program is having a... uh, Mondays through Thursdays from June until August 5th. Uh, Health and wellness, culture and language, prevention and life skills, field trips and fun for Native American youth ages 12 to a senior in high school. It's a summer program with lunch and snack at the Northwood Elementary School in Seminole, Mondays through Thursdays. You can contact the Hobuidagi Yikchalat program staff at 405-257-7261. All right. Uh, the diabetes program, once again, is offering a, uh, or they're looking for five native youth applicants between 8 and 12 years old to attend the 18th annual Youth Preventing Diabetes Camp. Uh, this is for the little guys, 8 to 12 years old. They're taking five people. You can contact them at 405-234-5274. Uh, Call Jordan Harjo and tell them you're interested in this program for your child. Coming up on June the 14th on a Friday, end of Spring Bazaar at the Seminole Nation Senior Citizen Center, formerly the OAP building. It's the building with the red roof there at the complex in Wewoka. Uh, Booths are first come, first serve, and they're $5 a piece. You can reserve your booth by calling 405-257-7257. You can bring arts and crafts, baked goods, food sale. Uh, The public is welcome. Seminole Nation CHR program is hosting a 2019 health fair at the First Baptist Church, uh, The Bridge. Uh, I guess that's here in Seminole. Um, That's July the 26th. That's next month. And you can call them at the... uh, CHR program, any of their numbers. I don't have a number listed on here, but call them if you'd like a booth. That's a CHR program um, 2019 health fair on July the 26th. want to remind you once again, Seminole Nation Division of Commerce is looking for vendors uh, for their online store. If you have arts and crafts or anything that you'd like to put on their online store, Uh, They're looking for tribal members that are interested in selling their handcrafted items. And uh, you can call them at the Seminole Nation Division of Commerce. Uh, If you'll call 405-257-7200, they'll give you the number for that. Um, And so that's a great opportunity for all of our arts and crafts vendors. We got one more date left on the Seminole Nation BCR Commission with our trial period open Saturdays. Uh, The last Saturday of each month from 9 o'clock to 1 o'clock. And this is for people that have a hard time getting to the BCR to get a new tag or get your title updated. Uh, So June the 29th will be the last date 
on this six-month trial, and maybe it's successful, they may renew it. So come on out, and if you can't get there through the week, that's a great opportunity to do that. Coming up on June the 13th at the Wewoka Indian Baptist Church there in Wewoka, Muskogee Creek Hymns, and uh, June the 13th, I'm not sure, is that on a Thursday? I think it is. Uh, Chuck Johnson, a member of the church, has been coordinating that. I went to that first one they had, and it was very successful. A lot of singers, and we had a good time out there. So uh, if you want to come out and listen to sing along uh, Muskogee hymns, come on out. That's June the 13th at 7 o'clock. Buckeye Creek Baptist Church over near Okima, between Okima and uh, Bristow or over in the Castle area is having a vacation Bible school June 9th through the 12th from 6 to 8.30 on Sunday. Uh, I assume that's in the evening. And then 6.30 to 8.30 Monday through Wednesday. Uh, For a ride, you can call James Roberts at 580-969-0212. And uh, while you're over there, tell my good friend Brenda Kuhn I said hi. Okay, those are announcements for the week. Uh, we got some highlights from the nation with Jeremy Fultz. It's Stone Go. This is Jeremy Fultz with highlights from the nation. On Thursday, youth from the community got to go through football camp with Sooner legend Jamel Holloway. Here's Delaney Pinnock with the coverage. Stone Go, Delaney Pinnock here with Jamel Holloway, the legend. So, how's the day going so far? Well, I'm glad that we got um, we got good weather. Mm-hmm. And um, just really enthused about having as many campers as um, possible out here today. Um, we got flooded out over at, at Bow Legs, but um, some of the tribe came through to be at the complex. And so it's going it's to be a good day for the kids today. I see you out here working them, so I'm glad I'm on the sidelines today. So <laughs> where's some of uh, benefits and uh, having the camp and working with the youth? Well, you know what, again, just working with the youth and point them in the right direction, knowing that they they got to sacrifice something. Uh, and, and right now it's just exercise, you know, and what we all need to do. But even more so, the kids, they give them competition for each other. You know, a lot of these kids were the star amongst themselves in their little area, but then when they get together and see other kids, it just motivates them and pushes them along so they can uh, be all they can be. And you can contact Victor Bear for more one-day sports camps coming this week. And the language department has a special announcement. If you are 16 years and older and looking for a six-week language immersion paid internship, contact Joe Kuhn with the Seminole Nation Language Department. 405-382-9826 or 405 405- 683-2802. Look for the flyer on the language department's Facebook page. And that is your highlights from the nation. Mado Jagajagashje. I like that music. Sounds like uh, Star Wars or the Outer Limits or something like that. Uh, On those announcements, I forgot I don't have a flyer with me, but he made a very important announcement about the paid internship for Seminole Nation tribal members 16 or over. And that's when we say that 16 through high school and college, but paid internship. And I think he said six weeks. Uh, to work with the language program, and uh, it's a great opportunity to earn a little money and learn the language. So uh, I think uh, that could be a pretty great program. All right, I told you I had guests in the studio with me today. Once again, I want to welcome uh, Michelle Ramirez. She's the youth coordinator with the Citizen Potawatomi Nation, and also Kim Co. She's a youth counselor at Citizen Potawatomi Nation. Welcome again, ladies. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Thank you. You know, right I'm... Here. I mentioned a while ago, Michelle, that uh, uh, you're actually uh, one of, a, a Seminole tribal member, and uh, you know it's. Uh, it, it, I think it's always a great deal when these tribes we hire each other's people wherever they're at because uh, it gives people opportunities everywhere. And I hear you're doing great work over there. Well, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk about the summer youth program here. Even though the Seminole Nation has a summer youth program. 
Do, we've got a little additional bonus this year from the Citizen Potawatomi Munition. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, we're able to serve Seminole County. We have some funding. So what, um, whatever can't be served here, you can come and apply with Citizen Potawatomi Nation. And we serve adults too. I know we're talking about youth programs, but we also have um, uh, funding for adults. So as long as you live in Seminole County and you're a member of a federally recognized tribe, you could be eligible for um, the programs that we have. You know, that's that's something I'm going to talk about here in a minute. And uh, right now, we are able to our hire additional summer youth in Seminole County. Not, uh, not necessarily Seminole, as long as you're Native American, right? Right, Okay, yes. if you're Native American and you're, what, 16 or older? Yes. 16 or older? Well, actually, for job placement, we start at the age 16. But if you're 14, we do camp scholarships for 14 and 15-year-olds. All right. So if they pick a camp that they want to, it could be church camp, youth camp, band camp, Some of the camps, camps that we mentioned, yes. yeah. Yes, if there's a fee and you need help paying for that, we can help if you're 14 and 15. Then when you're 16, we do job placements. Okay, that's great. And once again, I want to reiterate... This is uh, Seminole County, and you're going to find mostly Seminole kids, but you don't necessarily just have to be Seminole. Any Native tribal member that lives in Seminole County, that, I think that's great. This is mm -hmm. additional positions for our youth. Uh, tell me what uh, uh, you're going to be signing kids up on a particular date, aren't you? When is that? Yes, we'll be, um, we'll be at the North Community Building out there at the Mission on Wednesday. Tomorrow, tomorrow yeah. From 10 to 2. And we'll be taking applications and there to answer your questions. And we'll actually, we're going to be serving some light refreshments also. So if you're going to take soft your... Softy, some soft key. <laughs> I haven't got that down yet. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, we invite, and even if you're an adult, you know, come out. If you have questions about the programs that we're doing, you know, you're welcome just to come over and um, inquire about what, what all we're doing. And for all the... Uh Fixico and uh, Hobie people around Seminole County, come on out and tell her, <laughs> tell her, tell Cuz hello here. Hey, yeah. Kim, tell us a little bit about what you do at Citizen Potawatomi Nation. Um, well, Michelle and I kind of work together. I do want to add, if you're 15, we can pay for driver's ed, and oh, driver's really? ed has gotten up to what 340 dollars. Oh, really? So we really want to help families if you're in that 15 area pay for that you know, also if you're 17 and you haven't got your driver's license yet we can help with driver's ed it's kind of ironic you have to have driver's ed to get a driver's license it, did, it wasn't like that when i was a right. kid but you have to have it now but you have to pay 340 dollars. so you know for economically disadvantaged people that's kind of hard to get a driver's license so you guys that's a big help I, you know that's going to be great um that's uh Sports camp, church camp, band camp, leadership camp, any kind of camp that yes. you're talking about. All right. What uh, we're working on this summer is our summer youth program. We have it broke up into the month of June and the month of July mm -hmm. to do job placements. And basically, we visit with the student, try to find what they're interested in, and find a placement that's suitable for them. You also assist kids, not just like with... Uh, you know things that that you need to pay for but you also work with the kids uh you, you help them with act uh yes, for taking their act tests and uh, uh help them with filling out job applications and uh, vocational training things like that tell us a little bit about that what what kind of setting do you do that in yes we have we work with our education department and they have a lot of resources they have put money into um, some databases that we're able to match them up with what their interest is and of course you know we make sure they're signed up for um, what is the education free tuition we sign them up where they um, are guaranteed for their tuition and then um, we also do the ACT well we can pay for ACT prep classes or if the school does it, you know, just we just look to wherever resources we can. Sure, that, referral, uh, resource and referral. We can refer yeah. them, and, yeah. if it, and if it's going to cost them, then we can help pay cover pay the that. cost. Mm -hmm. Hey, you guys are everywhere. I, I noticed <laughs> you got satellite locations in Stillwater, Perkins, Cushing, Norman, McLeod, and Seminole. 
Yes. So you guys take us pretty seriously. That's that's great. Okay. So uh, if uh, people want more information about this today, uh, maybe want to know about what's going on here in Seminole County or what's going on in any of those areas, give me a good number. Uh, 405-878-3854. 3854. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, I see that. 878-3854. So, what's... Um, yeah, I, I know that you guys don't just do this. This is not just summer youth. Tell me kind of a little bit about some of the other facets of your position there. Well, we also work... Um, we have JOM. We cover um, 13 schools for our JOM program. So we do a variety of youth programs throughout the year, not just summer. And and that's another thing. We do job placements throughout the year, not just summer. So if you're just booked up for the summer and you can't, you know, find time to have a job or part-time job, whatever, we still do that throughout the year. So if school time's better or Christmas break is better, you know, let us know because we do it year-round. Um, we do a lot of uh, tri youth programs. We do um, arts and crafts sessions. We do just whatever the need is, whatever the youth or the community wants to do. Uh, we just try to always do something during um, Native American Heritage Month. We do stuff during Christmas break, during spring break, just things to keep our youth busy in our community. If, you're, if you've had a child that's been involved with JOM, you know just how much JOM does for children and families i think it's a great program and you know it's yes. something that needs to be continued there was a little bit of a threat of uh, discontinuing funding in jom here a few right. months ago is mm -hmm. that how's that going well um it actually passed now it's a law so now we're taking new numbers and hopefully that's going to allow us to get more money oh so, good that's yep. great that's great all right hey uh once again it, is there a particular number that we can reach you at here in Seminole. No, is it but or we can we can get information from Emma Harjo's yes, office, yeah. right? Emma, we work closely with Emma, and she can get you in contact. And she even has our all of our packets. So yes, you can ask for Emma. And um, I don't have that number right on me. Do you happen to have that number? I don't have Emma. Okay, well, uh, that's. But we the, do have satellite locations as yes, well, yeah. so we can meet people when we need to. That's great. Mm -hmm. Once again, those. Um, locations as i mentioned are all over the place uh stillwater perkins cushing norman mcleod and seminole uh i guess the reason shawnee's not earned because all the other tribes that are that have that same jurisdiction huh? mm -hmm. yeah but uh, and we actually have our today we have a representative here in seminole um shelly is at she's at the housing authority in Mawoka. okay and then she'll be at, at the mission this afternoon okay mm -hmm. is there anything else you'd like to add to our interview today some other information that you'd like to speak about while we're here this is your chance to be on the radio <laughs> <laughs> um we just really want to invite all of you that are interested in any of our programs since we're going to be here tomorrow from 10 to 2 at yes. the north community building we just really encourage you to come out and um even if you just want to come meet us or just um have questions because i know it gets confusing because you know there's programs already going on but we're just like you said we're like a bonus we're additional <laughs> so um supplemental yeah yes. so we're just there to help and whatever you know even if it's not job placement maybe hey if you're coming programs. out tomorrow regarding the uh youth uh opportunities summer youth opportunities remember 14 and 15 year old kids can have can be included for things like camp things like that but for 16 and up it's for job placement you got to bring the following documentation tell me about those okay um the documentation you'll have to bring will be the birth certificate or driver's license proof of residence which can be your utility bill of course, your tribal enrollment or CDIB, and your Social Security card, income for the last six months, and a report card. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's important because you got to make sure that you're going to school if you're going to be uh, included in this. Hey, it was great having you all on here thank this you. morning. We're just about out of time. But uh, once again, I want to thank you all for joining us here. Hey, I better almost forgot. Brenda and the girls at the Seminole Quick Pick, the Sinclair dealership right on the corner of 99 and 9, 
or offering to any tribal member, the first one that walks in there and shows their membership card, a free 32-ounce fountain drink. So come on over. If you're out there listening, tribal member, run down to Seminole Quick Pick and pick up your free drink. All right. Thank you once again for joining us at Seminole Nation Radio Program. We'll be back here next week. Uh, Joe couldn't be with us today. He's uh, conducting interviews for Summer Youth, by the way. And so uh, he'll be back with us next week. And hopefully maybe Bo Whitekiller, Director of Communications, Jeremy and Delaney. But they're all busy today, so I'm by myself, me and Angela. Uh, So we'll be back next week with Seminole Nation Radio Program. Meadow! WSH, the new 97.7 FM and 1260 AM.